how are you? In your lesson today, you're going to practice again three, four times signature, which means you're going to have three counts in each measure. Remember to play steady. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Don't stop after the third count. Don't do one, two, three. One, two, three. You don't want to do that. One, two, three. Set your steady beat. Also pay attention that you're going to be crossing your left hand over the right hand. This piece will be very easy to learn because first page and second page are exactly the same. The only thing that is different is you will play the lowest C of the piano with your left hand. Play sacado. Sacado. We have three counts in each measure. So we have to give two counts to the half note and count with a steady beat. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Make sure you don't pause after the quarter note and make the quarter note longer than one count. Don't pause on the bar lines, okay? It's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Steady beat, one, two, three, one, two, three. On measure 13 and measure 29, left hand is going to cross over right hand and play on treble clef A with finger two, like this. Cross left hand, finger two, over right hand. When we color our piece, remember to circle the top number of the time signature, three. And then you can write your counts, one, two, three, one, two, three, with red ink. You can also highlight with blue, left hand finger two over on measure 13 and measure 29. So you will remember it's left hand. It's going to be the treble clef A on the right of middle C. Forte. Pay attention to your finger numbers finger one right hand on middle C and then finger one left hand on G and also pay attention where right hand and left hand play at the same time dotted half note holding for three counts and legato it's on the right hand is E and middle C on the left hand is G and base E legato same thing we have in measure 23 and 24. E, right hand, and middle C, and then left hand is base G and base E. At the end of the piece it says slowing down to the end. And in the lowest C at the very end, you play staccato. You can always highlight your slur marks, the ones that tell you play legato or connected. You can do the same also with the staccatos. Circle them with red or with another color that you want so you can remember when to play legato or staccato. You're going to place your right hand finger one on middle C, your left hand finger one on G. Three counts. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. And then at the same time, right hand is going to play with finger three on E. And left hand is going to play with finger one on bass G. At the same time, it's going to be like this. One, two, three, and then right hand on middle C with finger one and left hand with finger three on bass E. So at the same time, it's going to be one, two, three, one, two, three, legato, connected. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three and left hand finger two crosses over to A. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's go to the next page on measure 17. One, two, 
Left hand is going to cross again with finger two to treble A and play forte and staccato. One, two, three. Do you see the quarter rests? And then the next measure, measure 30. One, two, three. One, two, three. Loud and slowing down. We're going to play now with metronome. On the last three measures of the piece says slowing down, which means we won't be able to follow the metronome. playing forte and piano and then slowing down at the end also did you play legato and staccato practice hard and see you in the next lesson mm -hmm.